Hi guys, today I thought I would do my current favorites. I haven't done a favorites in a while, so I thought now would be the time. There's a lot of stuff, so stay tuned and grab a snack. And while we're talking about snacks, I might as well start with my favorite snacks. One thing is something I make for dinner, for lunch, for snack, for everything, and it's pasta. I mix it with whatever I want to mix it with, but because I'm the kind of person who is so impatient, like I hate waiting for food to cook, I've gotten the quick cook noodles. I think they make them like Ronzoni, San Giorgio. Um, I think that's what it is. But if you just go to like the pasta aisle at the grocery store, you should see the quick cook ones. They cook in three minutes. Like I'm not joking. I've used them to make mac and cheese, like baked in the oven. I just use them to make some kind of sauce with olive oil and garlic. They're so good and they cook so fast. So if you're the type of person that loves pasta but just like is so lazy about it, these are the noodles for you. And on the other end of the food spectrum is these cookies, which I just discovered. Don't know how. I hope they're not like limited edition. They're from Pepperidge Farm. They're not healthy, but they're like addicting. These are the tahiti coconut cookies they are so good i've actually like hoarded them in my room because i don't want anyone else to eat them it's literally like nothing crazy it's just like a shortbread cookie and a shortbread cookie with chocolate in the middle but the shortbread cookies have coconut in them the coconut is just tastes so fresh and like tropical i don't know how to describe it. i feel like you don't even need to love coconut to love these they're so good like if you do love coconut and chocolate these are amazing they're really good like if you think you would like if this sounds good to you try them they're so good i'm addicted to them is random but it's a deodorant and again I mentioned this in so many of my videos recently I'm trying to go cruelty free but this is something that's been really hard for me to do especially with deodorant I've tried cruelty free I've tried aluminum free and they do not work like I'm a sweaty person <laughs> but this one seems to work for me so I hate that it's like from this brand but degree which is the the brand I've used the longest. This is the men's degree. It's the stress control one. I really like the smell of it. I was using um, the sexy intrigue degree for women, but it just like, leaves white marks everywhere. And this doesn't even say like invisible, I don't think, but, but it never gets white marks on anything. Maybe if I'm wearing a really tight black sweater or something, and it just smells really nice. like. I don't know, like a man, but not overpoweringly, like Abercrombie or something. And I think because it's a stress control, I think that's how I sweat. Like, I get hot really easily, but I get hot in, like, stressful or anxiety moments, and I think this actually helps with that. Also, how come men's deodorant is humongous and, like, super big and, like, a fictional armpit, and, like, women's deodorant is super tiny, and, like, I, like, I'm sorry, this is the size of my armpit. <laughs> like, why? Why? Next is for my hair, and I think this is a cruelty free brand. This is one of my favorite brands, Ava NYC. I've talked about them before, literally, I'm obsessed with most of their products. This is the Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. This is something I got for my birthday, and my mom forgot about it in her closet, and I just got it more recently. But it's really, really great. I love the smell of this. It's so good, just like all their products. I love the bottle, it's really cute, and the spray is really nice, and has 10 benefits for all hair types detangling, nourishing, strengthening, softening cuts drying time and shine reduces frizz protects from thermal and environmental and uv damage so all that stuff sounds really good and there's no paraben sulfates chlorides or artificial colors and pretty much what i do is i spray this into my hair and then brush it through and then blow dry it and my hair feels really good on the ends i have just recently cut it but this doesn't weigh my hair down i don't really go too high up with this but i feel like if you want all those benefits and just want one simple product that won't weigh your hair down or do anything weird to it this is one to go for and it smells really good <laughs> And one thing that goes along with that is this the tangle teaser and this is just a simple black one like the original one it's full of my hair but i've had a fake tangle teaser it's called like a tangle tamer and i just was never too fond of it and i've also had the wet brush and i don't know i just any kind of brush that has those little balls on the end of it bother me because you cannot get your hair out of them and they're hard to clean and they get dust in them and they just gross me out but this literally gets the knots out so much easier than anything else it doesn't pull up my hair like even if you have like the world's worst not from like a scarf or something gets out pretty easy without hurting and because it has no little balls on the end it's really easy just to yank out any hair that it's pulled out even when it gets dust in it it's like super easy just to wipe down so kind of those two together have been my like secret weapon and i really love them together another duo thing i've been using and i'm wearing it right now and that is the glossier powder powder i went recommended this or talked about it in some video about glossier before and i wasn't like wowed by it i said it's fine it's a good powder i'm not fond of like loose powders but 
I found the way that it works for me, and that is with the Real Technique sponge. This is dirty, sorry, but um, I've been using this to apply my makeup again. Usually I would just use my fingers, but I've been going back to this and I love it. And so what I did is that once I've done with my makeup, I use this as a finishing powder and dip the sponge into it and kind of bake, but not really. Like I don't brush anything away. I just kind of use this and press it in under my eyes and like anywhere it's shiny. And this lasts really, really long and it also doesn't look cakey because I do notice, especially when I go back in throughout the day, whether it's with a sponge or a brush this I don't look cakey and that's something I've been dealing with especially in winter I think that in the summer this wasn't anything standing out to me but now that it's winter and I get a lot more dryness and under my eyes and everywhere when I put powder on to avoid oiliness it looks cakey but this doesn't do that this if you don't want to look cakey but you want to get rid of a shine this is a really nice powder and just kind of gives it almost more coverage it really helps to blur my pores and like under eye area and I would really recommend it like I feel bad before I was like eh, it's fine like there's nothing wrong with it you'll like it if you got it but now I really like it a lot so things change okay more from Glossier and I'm sorry I know I talk about all the time and I know I work with them as a rep but I don't get paid to talk about them like they don't make you talk about them if I talk about them and you buy something that's the only way that I get paid so I'm not trying to force you to but like I'm really loving their products <laughs> just telling you the truth one thing I've been absolutely loving I even used it for my mom when I did her makeup for a Christmas party and she loved it too and it's the stretch concealer and at first I kind of thought this was a little bit too emollient for me but again I think as my skin gets drier in the winter this is perfect because it's so emollient lately my concealer has been tending to get cakey under my eyes or like cling to dryness this doesn't do that at all it literally clings to nothing the color is perfect for me it's the medium one which is crazy because i am pretty pale i love it i can blend it with my fingers or with the real technique sponge is a really nice way to do it as well i'm just obsessed with it i think i'm gonna get one for my mom because i think for people who are aging as well this doesn't cling into like weirdness underneath your eyes and it's more glowing i don't want to say glowing but because it's more moisturizing i think it blends a lot nicer with anyone who has wrinkles or aging and it just doesn't crease or cake into weirdness weird spots i just really love it a lot and it does really stretch with your skin it doesn't give like full coverage but it brightens enough and like conceals enough for my liking. One last thing from Glossy, I promise it's the last one for today, is the Boy Brow. And I know I've put this in multiple favorites videos, but I was always using the clear one and I'll recently have like only been using the brown one even when I use um, a powder in my brows and I'm obsessed with it. I've also been getting tons of compliments on my brows. People have been like, wow, your brows look so good. And I'm like, I know, it's just so easy. I fill in with a little bit of powder and then pop this on top and it just holds them in place because I think my problem is because I use a powder and not like a waxy pencil, although they're full they kind of angle a weird way and stuff but with this they hold in place all day but they still look like there's no wax or anything because it's like a pomade perfect brush it's the perfect everything or you just can't seem to get your brows 100 percent how you want them this will do it i promise you're gonna love this okay i promise only one more makeup thing and that is this revlon kiss plumping lip cream i got this shade for christmas I'm not wearing it today but it is the same kind of color I'm wearing right now but I'm pretty sure I can't remember if I talked about the other one I got I think I used it in some video I have a lighter shade of this as well and I really love these I haven't heard anyone talk about these so I hope people are buying them and they don't get discontinued if you're the type of person that wants a glossy look sometime come sometimes but not like overly glossy and not shimmery but you just want like some moisture especially this time of year although matte lips look gorgeous I feel like they can get really dry and like if you're already chapped it's just not a good look but this is just ugh, I don't even know how to describe it it's thick and colorful like it gives you pigment but it doesn't over dry your lips it doesn't go outside your lip line let me just put some on now and it has just like a regular old like a lip gloss it's like nothing crazy with the packaging so that's pretty much it. I only put a little bit on right now because I already have a lip color on but you could just see it gives me like a tiny bit of shine just makes my lips look a little bit more healthy and plump and it doesn't like it says plumping but it just has like a minty scent to it you don't really feel much of that I don't notice any plumpingness to it I absolutely love this this is just a shade barely blush they have a lot of really nice neutral shades and it just doesn't feel thick or goopy or sticky or anything it's really nice and the mintness is like refreshing to me the next is lavender oil and um, or kind of any kind of sleep blend oil i got one for christmas this is the one i've been using up though you can get these real cheap at like tj maxx and this is the 100 percent pure essential oil and lavender i use these in my diffuser also drop some on my pillow i can use them on my wrists use it when i'm doing yoga i just think essential oils are so great and i know that it's something a lot of people are talking about lately i think tess christine just put one in her favorites i just think they really work and whether you're looking for energizing or you have cold or whatever you're looking kind of to do they all do something different lavender is my favorite i've always loved the smell of lavender and it's really relaxing and helps you sleep and I just would really recommend this even if you don't have a diffuser just dropping some on your pillow is nice or rubbing it on your temples or 
whatever. And then another thing that helps me sleep, because I've been having trouble sleeping lately, I've been having crazy ass dreams. And to kind of keep me asleep so I don't wake up in the middle of the night, I've been using melatonin. And I've talked about this before in the past, I think, but I never thought it worked that well. And although it doesn't keep me staying asleep, it does get me to fall asleep. And I'm pretty sure Grace helped me put this in her favorites too, so cool. But this is the Super Strength Melatonin. It's a 10 milligram one. I actually only have one left in here, so I ordered them on Amazon. You can order them. I get mine from Puritan's Pride, so you can get them from there or Amazon. So if I take this an hour before bed, I actually start to feel tired. And because lately, I think I've told you guys, I've been reading before bed, I end up reading like, oh, like so much and then realize it's like one o'clock in the morning. That's not great. So I take this and then like after I've read like three or four chapters, I start to get sleepy and actually fall asleep a lot faster. So it doesn't keep me like asleep all night I do wake up but it gets me to sleep so really love that and then a book I absolutely fell in love with this is like my 100% new favorite book and that is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna this is my book after I read my aunt's book I told you guys about kind of got me back into reading and this book changed everything for me I've read like now three books from her and I have another one starting soon this book is amazing it's about World War II in France and it's about two sisters and it follows their lives and their relationship and like their relationships outside of each other and it is a beautiful story if you're kind of interested in World War II or France or anything in the 40s you're gonna love this. Honestly, I'd recommend this book to anyone. This is one of her newer books. I've read some of her older ones and you can see the author's strength in writing growing and like her storytelling and everything and this is just fantastic. I would highly recommend picking it up. I know it's kind of big but I went through this in like a week. It's so amazing. I don't know anyone who wouldn't love this book. I hope they make a movie of it. This pillow, not the pillowcase, but this pillow my brother got me for my birthday. Hope you can see it. It's two-sided. Like this side is for warmth and this side is for cool and I love it. I could be the type of person that's always flipping over your pillow to get the cool side. This is awesome. It actually works like you wouldn't think it works, but it does. This side, like I always put on the cool side, but then in the morning when you're cold, you can turn it over to the warm side. And it was pretty affordable, like about 25 bucks or something on Amazon. I don't know, I thought at first like, eh, it's not gonna do much, it's kind of cool, but it really works. And if you're looking for something like that, I'd highly recommend this pillow. And then, then the last thing on my list is John Stamos. Random, I know, but of course I'm obsessed with Fuller House like everyone else in the world. But recently I've just been really loving John Stamos and I actually put him on this list before I found out that he was having a baby. So I just have a crush on him and I don't know how that's really a favorite, but recently I've just been like loving everything he's posting on Instagram and like, I don't know, I just really love John Stamos. Just thought I'd throw that out there, put some positivity in the world. Um, but those are my current favorites and I really hope that you guys enjoy them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more from me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.